Good evening, everyone. We have Mili Takali with us all the way from Uganda. Hi. Hi. So, hi, uh, Mili. How has India been treating you so far? Um, India has been interesting. I've enjoyed my stay in India. People are so welcoming. Oh my. People are so welcoming. They are so jolly. They are so happy. Everyone gives you a smile. Whoever you meet, gives you a smile. You know, that's what we really want. Actually, these guys are so welcoming. And India, I feel, I felt at home. So I'm very okay and I wish to come back to India any other time. It's lovely to know. We really hope to see you again in Thank India you. in future tournaments. <laughs> Thank you. And other than that, how has the Olympiad been so far for you and your team? Uh, for my team, so far we are not... Uh, actually, our target was to win, that, to win, to be the best in our category. We are in category D and we wanted to be the best. Unfortunately, the teams are, that competition is so high, it's so steep. We haven't yet got in there, but we hope for the three remaining games that we shall be among the, the first ten in our category. Lovely, all the best for that. Thank you. And uh, this is your first Olympia, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, how is the feeling, you know, playing the first Olympia in NATO in India, and it's the biggest Olympia in the history? So, how do you feel about it? Um, first of all, I feel I feel at home. I feel overwhelmed. I feel happy. Yeah, it's my first Olympia, but it has. It has really showed me and it has, uh, it has propelled me to go back home. So to go back home and I train hard and hard uh, so that I don't keep missing any Olympia and organize my feeling. Yeah. yeah. I really hope Uganda and other African countries actually come up to the top. And other than that, how do you practice at home? Like, do you have fixed stars every day or do you have a job? Or how do you manage chess as well as uh, whatever you do? Actually, in Africa, your chess isn't a profession, so you need to get a profession to get some source of income to survive. So I don't do chess 24/7, but I, I chess is my sport. So and uh, I love it. If you love something, you should, you should, you should at least you put in anything to say that you, you achieve out of it or you benefit out of it. So when I'm the way, like when I'm at home, I train up for chess. I train me not at African level. But I hope, I hope to get more because at least I've gotten connections from gyms and we shall have a plan. So come next Olympiad, I'll be like a star, like some of the Indian GMs ladies that we are seeing in India. Actually, I'm so happy for that. And there's one who was six, nine months pregnant. I was, she really, I don't know how I can say, but I felt even, no matter the situation you are, you can still play strong moves. Because at her stage, we didn't expect her to play, but she's playing so well, and uh, I appreciate her for not giving up. So, we really encourage everyone there, always come. When you love the game, put in time. Needs, you have to put in time, you have to put in money, you invest in it. If you don't invest in it, you never achieve anything out of it. Yeah. Very nicely said. And one last question, which is not chess related. You have such beautiful hair. Is there any story behind it? <laughs> Um, actually, me and my team, we, we, we came up with an idea of uh, planting our hair in the, our flag. The country's flag is black, yellow and red. So now you see my hairstyle, it's really my country. My country, my country what? My, the flag of my country. So we all have the same colors and we really wanted it to be, we really wanted it to be at top. Even if we fail to win in our category, but at least we are going to win <laughs> the best, best, smartest team. <laughs> Thank you so much, Neil. Really. Thank you. And all the best for the remaining rounds as well as for the section prize. Thank you. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.